Hey guys, this is JRT and these are my picks for the top 5 players in ESEA Premier Season 38. Now, I wanted to have a nice mix between some of the younger faces and some of the veteran players, so with that being said, here is my top 5. Coming in at number 5 is J-Dubs, who joined up with Mythic to help plug the hole left by Davey who decided to focus more on his casting career, and after exploring several options, Mythic decided to go with J-Dubs despite the fact that he did not have a full season of Premiere under his belt, with only 11 maps played on Kinship and 2 maps played on GGPR. Despite that lack of experience though, he performed extremely well in this Mythic roster and added a balance that really wasn't present last season. Not only that, he was a key contributor to their qualification for DreamHack Open 46 up against Chococheck, their final opponent to make the main event. He dropped 48 frags and had a rating of 1.25. Honestly, even though they missed the playoffs, and are going to relegation, Mythic with J-Dubs should be able to fight through relegation and find themselves back in ESCA Premier for season 39. At number four is Jermaine, who was a rookie on a Coldest Riders roster that admittedly struggled quite a bit this season, winning only one BO3, but he was still a bright spot. Despite those struggles, he managed to maintain an overall KDR of one or greater in four of the six BO3s they played this season. He's also extremely mechanically skilled, which goes on full display on a map like Mirage. In five times on the map this season, he had 120 frags, a plus 21 kill to death differential, and averaged 24 frags per map, including a 38 frag performance against RBG in double overtime. Now, of course, they still went on to lose that map against RBG, but he was impressed nonetheless. He also has three aces on Mirage in the last three months, two of those coming in ESCA Premier against GGPR and RBG, and one coming in Fragadelphia East Falls. He is definitely an up-and-coming star, and we've not seen the last of him in ESCA Premier. In the number three slot is Cynic, who's been in Premiere for quite some time now and has spent most of the last three seasons playing with Triumph, but with the departure of Viz from the party astronauts, he was picked up to fill the void that was left by Viz, and man oh man did he do that and more. He had a seamless transition from Triumph, where he was performing quite well, and his stats didn't drop off at all when he joined up with the party astronauts. In fact, they got better as he finished in second place on the team with 287 frags and a plus 73 kill to death differential. I think one of the most impressive things about Cynic is his ability to fill pretty much any role, because when he was part of that Triumph roster, he spent time as a rifler, a primary opper, secondary opper, and even an IGL, and that is a huge asset to pretty much any team in Premier. And he really has added a great element to an already strong Party Astronauts roster. At number two is OC, who has been a key contributor to the rise of Extra Salt throughout the past few months. And everyone, of course, knows him for his prowess with the AWP, but he's also one of the most versatile players in the league, and in fact has more rifle frags than he does op frags, sitting at 47% of his frags with the rifles and 36% with the AWP, which shows that he can rock it with the best of them, either with the rifle or the op, which is really a powerful asset to have on this roster. Not only that, his stats are extremely impressive as well, as he's sitting at number one on his team in frags at 320 and a plus 105 kill to death differential. He's number 10 in ADR at 84.3 and number four in frags per round at 0.842. And finally, coming in at number one is, well, you probably already guessed it, but Safe for Pain Gaming. I honestly had a lot of trouble choosing between OC and Safe in the number one role, especially considering how versatile OC is with the rifles versus the op. But at the end of the day, in terms of primary role, Safe is number one statistically and mechanically with the AWP. If you look at his stats, he's number one in the league in ADR at 92.2, number one in frags per round at 0.913, and number one in 4Ks at nine. He is just a force to be reckoned with and can carry his team on his shoulders whenever it is required. Not only that, if he's still alive and around, whether it be a 2v4, 1v4, or even a 1v5, it's far from over. He is that good, and that's why he's my pick for number one player in Premiere.